Hey guys, Rick Kern of TV Scaly Adventures, and we're actually out on location today doing a photo shoot and some filming for an upcoming uh, magazine article that's going to be here in Greenville with the Greenville Journal. And so literally, not that far to our south, Hurricane Irma is spinning up, and we don't know yet where the path is going to be, but it did want give me a chance to remind you guys to be prepared. And one of the things that's really cool is here at Scaly Adventures, we're partnered with a couple of great companies. TrueSpec, Five Star Gear, and Coast are great partners of ours, and they've given us some gear here that we've actually used to create a scaly bug out bag for the person and one for the family. I'm gonna take just a minute and show you guys what we have in here. Now, let me caveat this by saying everybody's experiences are different. Some people may need different things depending on where you live, how long you plan to be out or where you plan to be at. Um, for example, some people might live in the city and some people might live out in the country like we do. And so those things will determine where you and what you pack into these bags. But let me show you real quick inside the scaly bag. <clears throat> this is the one I actually keep in my car. And it has a very comprehensive first aid kit and I've added a couple of things to it, even like some quick clot and some things of that. But this is basically enough to keep a minor emergency at bay if something should happen. Moving on into this kit here, I have this Paralyte cord, which is really cool. It's 550 cord, so you can actually use it to bind up things like shelters and put things together. But it also has this cord running through it that is a fire starting cord. So if I light it, then it will help me to be a fire starter if I'm in a wet environment. Coming on up here, <clears throat> I got a couple of other cool things as well. I actually have to wear reading glasses now. And so if you're out in an emergency situation, it doesn't do you any good to be blind. So I actually pack a pair of these in here. I keep along here as well, a fire starter kit that has a knife sharpener in it from Five Star Gear. This is their survival tube. And a couple of uh, Coast flashlights, rechargeable flashlight ones. And we also inside here have extra batteries as well. But let me show you another cool thing here. You can't have enough carabiners. These are good for everything from putting linking chains together to emergency climbing. Now, if you open up the main compartment, <clears throat> what you notice in here is I have light sticks and they're all arranged so I can reach in and feel it. There's a five star gear surgical instrument kit. There is also even a hammock because here's the thing. If you're in a flood or some type of an environment, it may not be possible for you to actually sleep on the ground because it's wet. This will help you to get up off the ground. Also a rain poncho. We keep one of those in there. Another cool thing you want to keep in mind, Five Star Gear makes these really cool plastic rubberized bags. Now, if you happen to be in a flood environment or some type of other damp, wet environment, and you have to do a river crossing or anything of that nature, it's going to be important to keep your clothes dry. So you want to be able to pack your gear and everything, cinch this rubber bag shut. And just like when I was in the army and we used to have to use these, it'll keep your gear dry. Obviously, you can never have enough big knives. This is a big enough one that the reason I use it is so that it, you can actually chop with it. <clears throat> Moving over here, this is an interesting thing too, and I wanted to show you guys this. If likewise, if you're out in the sun and you don't happen to have a boonie hat or something like this, this is a really cool performance hat by Five Star Gear that you can actually put on your head and it will help keep the sun and the rain off of you because the sun beating down for several hours while you're out trying to move from one position to another, this will help keep the sun off your head, keep the rain off of you, and it just helps to keep your morale up by keeping your head dry. So we keep that here. Now, if you notice something, as I'm moving along, I know where everything is, even before I'm unzipping it. It's very important that you understand where all of your items are and kept, so that in an emergency, you can reach it. I keep extra ammunition in here as well. This is nine millimeter. Everything is wrapped in a plastic bag, but there's 50 rounds of nine millimeter ammunition there for personal defense, or if I need to hunt. Moving on to this side, we have <clears throat> an emergency blanket by Five Star Gear. This is a space blanket. And these things, I've actually had to use one in a survival situation years and years ago when I underpacked for a trip on the Appalachian Trail. And I actually ended up wrapping myself in this and I swear it kept me alive. Moving on down, I can't encourage you guys enough to carry knife sharpening equipment because as you're out, if you're out for several days chopping wood or things, it's gonna be a stress on your items. So this is a Five Star Gear knife sharpener and it has several different ways to sharpen the knives like the diamond tip and these here, and it even has a built-in fire starter. You cannot have enough ways to start a fire. Over here, we have a radio, which is a ham frequency radio, but it'll also importantly scan for police bands. Now, it's illegal to transmit on police bands, but in an emergency, it's very important for you to be able to tune into NOAA 
or the police frequencies and be able to listen to what's going on in your community. And this is actually a water resistant radio, so you can do that. Now, in the main compartment here, <clears throat> I have a pair of sunglasses because it's important to protect your eyes. This is also a pretty interesting piece of equipment right here. We have something called a survival blanket or survival wooby, and it's really an army blanket that's packed in its own pouch here. But when you wrap that with that poncho, that rain poncho, it makes it a super warm blanket and water resistant. Coming on down here, I have enough food for three days. I have odds and ends that I keep in here in the survival tin. And this is really cool too, because it's got like a ceramic folding knife, extra fire starters, Kevlar, twine and even something that I can cut small debris with so that I can make fire starters. Duct tape because you can never have enough duct tape and even a dry release blanket that I'm able to or um, I'm sorry dry release scarf so that I can actually wipe it off or wrap it around my neck because if I'm in the sun I don't want my neck baking and then finally if you look down inside here here's enough food for 32 hours or I'm sorry 72 hours which is what they recommend that you should have that's these MRE style foods that you can get from five star over in here we even have survival water and deep down inside of there as well we also have a book on survival from the US Army which is public public release so that you can actually purchase it and I can never tell you again always important to have a good flashlight this is the coast TX 7r it's a rechargeable light but it's got a scoping um, lens on it and it also has these grips on it so even if it's raining or a flood environment you can keep a pretty good grip on it now this is great and I keep this inside my car because if my car breaks down or if I'm ever in a nat natural disaster separate from my family this allows me the ability to get home now, what I have at home, and we actually keep by the door so that in an emergency we can grab it and go, is basically the same thing on a family size. We have the Special Forces Medical Handbook so that any one of us can render first aid. We have a venom lock in here for snake bites. We have our coast flashlights sealed in, flash in, in, in plastic. You gotta remember to keep those charged as well. So take them out and check the charge on them, make sure they're good. We have odds and ends here, fire starters, a compass, uh, a survival magne uh, magnifying glass so that you're able to see that and use that to not only read, but to start fires. We have light sources. Also important, we have drinking water. We have enough for three persons for three days, okay? So each one of these individual, we have one meal a day per person because in a survival situation, that's the minimum that you would need to survive. We also have a water pouch so that you can fill this with fresh water. We have first aid kit. We have Siloom light sticks, more ammunition down here, another survival blanket. We also have a tin can because you can use this to heat food in and other things like that. You can survival knife with the fire starter down here. Plastic bags, again, because once this gear starts to get wet, if you have to cross a river or a wet environment, you wanna be able to keep your stuff dry. All right, and let me show you a couple more things real quick. And the last one is we have a, another comprehensive first aid kit in here with uh, the quick clot and a couple of other things I added in here as well uh, from Five Star Gear. And it even has a, a, another survival blanket. And this is pretty cool too. It's a, a water canteen and cooking kit that Five Star Gear has created. So it's got a water bottle, which you can fill up. And then it's also, if you look down inside there, it's got a cooking cup. So this is very important for you to be able to not only get water, but to be able to boil it, cook things, or heat up your MREs. Because trust me, as an Army veteran, I can tell you, MREs are much better tasting warm than cold. So let me just tell you guys, oh, and like I said, duct tape. You can never forget duct tape. But again, listen, like I said, this is not a comprehensive thing that every situation can be a little bit dependent. If you live somewhere in the Northeast where it gets a lot of snow, you're gonna wanna put some cold weather gear in here. If you live somewhere down South in Florida, you may wanna have something that's more hurricane dependent. Only you know what's best for your situation. But the cool thing is you can go online and download different lists and different suggestions. And you can wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, I should add this or I should add that. The important thing is two things. Number one, make it carryable, whether it's in a backpack or this that you can fit in your car. It should be something you can grab and go in an emergency. And the second thing is always be looking what you can add or take out based upon your needs. And anything that you put in here, whether it's a radio or a flashlight or a cooking kit, I cannot encourage you enough Take the time, open it up, learn how to use it before the emergency strikes. Because a complicated radio system like this, we have to dial in frequencies. The time to learn how to use it is not in an emergency. The time to be comfortable with it is when you're in the emergency. 
So again, guys, just stay tuned to Scaly Adventures. You can check out Five Star Gear, you can check out True Spec, and you can check out Coast Portland. These guys all make the gear that we trust our lives to, and I want you to know that you can trust your lives to them as well. This kind of survival gear can keep you safe and healthy, and the most important thing is this. Always have an emergency family action plan so that you guys know if an emergency occurs that mom and dad are at work or you're somewhere that you all know how to get back together. You have a rally point that's established and you guys have plans that you can use to save your life. So stay tuned, stay scaly, and like I said, check out the cool companies that provide us with this gear that we get to show you.